If you've ever been interested in learning the Go programming language, whether you're new to programming as a whole, or you're a front-end developer, or even if you're someone that's been writing PHP and Java, I'm proud to announce my final master Go course live on Frontend Masters. If you're new to my channel, my name is Melky. I'm a senior software engineer over at Twitch where everything is written in Go. And if you've ever seen any of my previous videos on this channel, you would know that we really like Go here. And I'm proud to put everything that I've learned about the language into this one master course. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you a 25% discount code courtesy of Frontend Masters. And if you're a student, I'll show you how you can use the GitHub Student Developer Pack for six months free on the entire front end masters platform. If you've never heard of front end masters before, they are basically a platform where they fly you out into their headquarters and you do a live workshop with people. And then they take that footage and make it into a course. And you can see there's a bunch of different courses here. If you go into the courses tab, you'd see there's a bunch of different ones from complete intro to react nine with Brian Holt, the last algorithms course you'll ever need from the primogen, someone you may have heard and watched his videos before. You can even see there's next Jest fundamentals by Scott Moss. And you can see the course I'm talking about, which is the complete go for professional developers live on front end masters. Now, a lot of people will instantly jump in and say, Oh, this is another course plug, which it definitely is. But the thing of why I'm really hyped on front end masters is that you can't really bullshit your way through this. I know a lot of people hate courses because it's like, well, you can just be this like course guru. And if you don't know, you end up teaching that classic expression, but here, you do it live. There's actually a live workshop with people that attend. They ask live questions, they stream it and they ask questions. And if you don't know what you're talking about, you get exposed instantly. There's like very, there's no time for a feedback loop, right? Cause your monitor is streamed to the entire platform to the entire workshop. And if you don't know the subject matter, you will get exposed instantly. So that's why I really enjoyed doing things with front end masters because of that live aspect. They really cater to people who are supposed to be teaching and not trying to just make a quick buck. But this is really what you'd be interested in the coursework. You can see it's eight hours and three minutes of pure content from teaching, answering live questions and building. And you can see how it's broken down. We have an intro, the go basics, control structures, scaffold, scaffold in the project, the data layer, our CRUD routes, our API layer. We even have tests from unit and integration, authentication, middleware, and we wrap it all up and kind of showcase everything working from start to finish. Now I'll walk you through a little bit more of the meat and potatoes of the course, if that's something you're interested in, but basically I'm going to I'm going to start from the lowest level of the implementation, which to me is always the database. Now in this course, we use Postgres as our relational database. You can see I have the DB. There's just some images in Postgres or using Postgres, and we deploy our database within a Docker container. So I actually go through using a Docker compose file, which pulls a Postgres image and actually spins up a database in a separate container, but it's running on your machine. And then from that, we actually start developing the core go code because it's a go course. But to be honest, it's a back end course for anybody, it just happens to be written in go. And that's really the way I like to think about it. But then we start writing our database layer, our service layer, our API layer, you know, from our route, our handler, and we start pulling things from GitHub and the open source community, like I said, Chi and goose, and we handle all the different things that some people don't even talk about, such as migrations, or just proper project structure, error handling, bubbling up the error. So all of that is handled in this kind of go layer, which then obviously connects to our database. And then our database talks back to this kind of backend go service that we are building. Now, the last component here is the client portion of the course. I actually specifically omitted from spinning up a react V project or a Svelte project or anything like that, which would then connect to the backend here because I want that to just I want you to choose what you want to do for that, right? I know someone who's has a JavaScript or TypeScript backend will probably spin something like I mentioned before, Svelte, uh, React, Vue, et cetera, et cetera. Some people may only want to query and curl this backend. So they use like curl from the terminal, which is what we do in the course, or can use Postman, whatever. And some backend peers may render, uh, you know, the index files or, or the front end using something like HTMX or templating from Go. 
whatever you choose to do, it's fine because the way we've built everything, you can just connect to this backend, which is going to be running and on a port on your machine. And you can just connect to it and hit it and do whatever you want to it, right? From the terminal, that's fine. You have a front end that's connected to it. Cool. That's sweet. No problem. But this is kind of like the TLDR of the entire course, right? We go from this database layer to our go back and our HTTP server to the client totally up to you. And some other things that are included that weren't mentioned in the scaffold here is we have unit tests. So I show you the best structure to do table testing in Go. We actually have integration tests for our database and API layer. We use Goose for database migration. So if something changes in your database schema as you're in the middle of implementation, you want to add a feature, how do you handle that in a non-disruptive way? We actually also write SQL, right? We, we don't use an ORM here. We write true SQL baby, the, the way God intended for it to be written in our database, in our backend. And then we also go through a project structure as we build everything out. And another thing is you can even see the live project repo. So on my GitHub, milk it up, you can see FEM project live. This was taken during the two day workshop. So the entire two days I was there with the entire workshop. I started the entire project. You can see all my commits here. I labeled them. We've had some more comments from Dustin who works at Frontend Masters. And you can see I'm just posting all the commits every time we go through a different portion of the workshop. And if you go through the repository, you can see everything that we built out for the API, the app, the middleware, the routes and everything like this. So you can see, for example, this is our middleware, which we actually build from the ground up. So if you enjoyed the preview of this course and the things I talk about, um, there's going to be a discount code in the description of this video, Melky25. You can just click it. It will give you 25% off your first year or 25% off the month that you will use Frontend Masters for this course. Go ahead and use it. Get access to all the courses on the platform. And if you are a student, go get the GitHub Student Developer Pack because if you do, if you connect via your GitHub account, you get six months of Frontend Masters for free. So even if you don't want to learn go if you don't like my course you can go ahead and check out all the courses they have on this platform for free for six months and if you use a discount code that applies to all this as well all right so hope you guys enjoy this course let me know what you think i know a lot of people are going to give me some shit because it's going to be a course boy type thing but really this is not something that you can bullshit you know i had to be live on the workshop i had to know myself to answer questions and you can really just track everything through the live workshop repository i mean it's all here the way we structured everything you can see my thought process as i'm writing it as i'm answering as i'm doing these things so it's really like a way to vet and if this is truly a a get rich quick scheme course, which it's not, or it's someone that want to do a good job and really try to teach everything they learned about a program language for you to enjoy as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think. If you're going to try it out, if it's something you don't like, what do you want to see? And if you have any ideas for any future videos, let me know. I'm gladly taking any suggestions. Want to make the best kind of content for you guys. Let me know if you want to see more go tutorials, more news topics, anything in between AI or not. Let me know. I appreciate every single one of you guys and I'll see you next time.